So let's solve this by using DFS. First thing first, let's define our rows and columns since we'll be using that more often. And we'll also need our result variable. Let's call it islands. And we can initialize it with zero. And let's return this. Now let's like the logic to solve this. Firstly, we will have to iterate on each and every element of the grid to know where are ones and zeros. So let's do that. And this makes the time complexity as O of n cross m. So let's do that. And now if grid at, since we only care about one, here we will implement our DFS function. So we'll pass R and C. And if this returns successfully, we will do plus plus. And that's all we need here. Let's write our helper function DFS here. So now let's write the base case for our DFS. We can start with indices. This is for lower bound. This is for upper bound. And we have to make sure that our grid is not zero. And if, if these conditions are true, we can just return. And now let's update our one to zero. And now we have to go to each and every direction. So let's quickly define our directions. This is left, right, top, bottom. We can either define our DFS four time or use loop to iterate over it. I'll use the loop. And now we can call our DFS recursively with R plus direction right and C, C plus direction C. So this completes our solution. Let's, let's try to run this. It works. Let's try to submit it. Yep. This works. Hope you found this helpful. If yes, you can consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching.